Hi and welcome to my channel. I am Teeny Crochets and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a travel bag of tic-tac-toe. So crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. To begin I'm going to be using my 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm going to be using this DK yarn in blue but you can use whatever color you want and we're going to start by making the bag. So slip knot onto hook, move you in a bit, and we're going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So we have 20 chains and we're going to skip that first chain and from the second chain from hook, so skip that first chain and from that second chain we're going to single crochet across 18 chains. So we're going to do 18 single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, can you hear my animal in the background drinking, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17 and 18 and into that last stitch we have one stitch left or one chain left into that chain we're going to do three single crochet one two and three all into that chain space I'm now going to rotate my work and we're going to begin to work back along the stitches we've just made. So in the bottom of the stitches we just made or in the opposite side of the foundation chain. So now I'm going to single crochet 17 back across. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And in this last stitch, this last chain, this last stitch, I'm going to do two single crochet into that space. One and two. So now you should have something that looks like this. And this is a total of 40 stitches. And now the fun part happens now. We're going to single crochet around these 40 stitches for 25 rows. So we're going to do 25 rows of single crochet and when you've finished your 25 rounds I'll meet you back here. So that is the end of my 25 rows and I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. We are now going to do a row of reverse single crochet. So reverse single crochet around. So what we're going to do is take our hook and put it into the previous stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So we are going to be working backwards. Take my hook again, insert into the next stitch to the right, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Take my hook, insert into the next stitch to the right, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two and what that will make is this kind of rope effect for the last round 
so we're going to be working reverse stitch all the way around so you always go into the next right stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and you're going to do this 40 times because you have 40 stitches so let's work our way all the way around if you go slow this won't be so bad if it's the first time that you're doing this stitch and if you do it wrong you can always rip your work back to where you need to and do it again or if you don't want this fancy edge you could just do one more round of single crochet but I like the top of the bag to look a little bit different to the rest of it and when you're back at the last stitch we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch of that round to join chain one and we can fasten off and pull that yarn tail through so I'm going to weave in that yarn tail next and then I will hand sew the detail onto the bag next we need to divide our bag into nine segments so we need to sew two lines down and two lines across to make nine squares and to do that I'm going to be using white yarn but you can use whatever colour that you want so I'm going to pull a long piece of white yarn snip and attach to my embroidery needle so I've just counted across and there are 19 stitches here so we're looking at 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 we're looking at about 6 stitches for the outer 2 segments and that'll leave 9 stitches for the centre so I'm going to count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and then I'm going to do a back stitch so I'm going to leave a long tail at the end because I'm going to weave that in later I'm doing a back stitch I'm going to hand sew all the way to the top we want this, this line to look as straight as possible but it doesn't matter the, good th the nice thing about homemade gifts they don't have to be perfect sometimes an imperfection just makes it even more special because somebody made that so I keep checking that my line is straight because if not I can unpick the stitches but so far so good I'm going to go all the way up a couple more stitches we're going to have a fastening here so you don't want to go right the way up to the top you want to go probably let's have a look one two three up to about four rows from the top and then we'll finish with this So I'm happy going that far up and I'm going to thread my yarn to the back of the work and I'm going to leave it there for a minute because I can weave it in from the back so this starting tail I'm also going to weave in to the back or sew to the inside of my work then I can turn the work inside out and I can weave the tail in in the back so I'm going to just weave it down a couple of the stitches in the back so you can't see it from the front and then I can cut it off and I'm going to do that with all the tails they're all going to be worked weaved in from the back side of the work so you want to make sure you're not going too deep into the stitches when you weave because you don't want to see this from the front so turn our work back to the other side back to the right side and I'm going to do the same thing to sew the line on the other side okay so I'm going to bring my tail in just after the sixth the sixth stitch and now let's do the back stitch all the way up again So now it's time to do the horizontal lines. I'm going to count seven rows up 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just after that seventh row, I'm going to bring the yarn in again and do exactly the same thing, but we're going across this time. So we're going all the way across the way. This is a little bit easier going across because you can just go between stitches. Then for the last row, we're going to count another seven stitch rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just above that, we're going to do our last row of back stitch. And now that the front of the bag is done, we need to create a crochet chain that we're going to weave in and out the top of the bag that will shut it and open it when we want. So it'll be like a little tie system. So I'm going to bring my white yarn back in and with my 3.5 millimeter hook, I'm going to chain 90. So 90 stitch at chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're going to fasten off and pull that loop for through. And we're going to pull that nice and tight, and we're going to be pull the start nice and tight also. And then we can cut them tails off either end. So now we can weave the chain through the bag. So I'm going to bring, put my hook through at the centre front and I'm going to pull a little bit of the chain through. Then I'm going to skip two stitches and pull the chain, the long chain all the way through. I'm going to skip two stitches again and then pull the long chain all the way through to the back. Skip two stitches, pull through to the front, skip two and pull to the back. We're going to do this all the way round to the opposite side. Skip two, pull forward, skip two pull back there we go and then I'm going to make sure I'm going to pull them tight and make sure they're both the right length or the same length perfect and then that is going to be our tie for the bag so now let's make our counters. So you're going to need to make nine counters of each colour. So if you notice here, I've still got one orange counter to make. So if I move them out the way, I'll show you how to make one. And then you can make them in any colour that you want. But with my orange yarn, slip knot onto hook and we're going to chain two. One and two. And then I can zoom in again into the second chain from hook we're going to do six single crochet all into that one chain space one two three four five and six so that was the equivalent of a magic loop I prefer to chain two and crochet into the second chain from hook only because I feel that like it's more secure than a magic loop so we now have six stitches 
and on the next round I'm going to increase to 12. To do that I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch. So I'm going to increase into every stitch. So into that first stitch I'm going to single crochet one and two. Into the next stitch I'm going to single crochet three and four. Into the next stitch single crochet five and six. Into the next stitch single crochet seven and eight. Into the next stitch single crochet nine and ten. And into the last stitch of this round single crochet eleven and twelve. Now we're going to increase again and we're going to increase from 12 stitches to 18. So I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then I'm going to do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet one, increase in the next stitch for stitch number two and three. Then single crochet stitch number four, increase in the next stitch for five and six. Single crochet seven, increase in the next stitch for eight and nine. Single crochet ten, increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve. Single crochet thirteen, increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen. Single crochet sixteen, and increase in the last stitch for seventeen and eighteen. I always like to do one extra stitch because I feel like it makes it look more round and then chain or slip stitch into the next stitch to join, chain one and cut the yarn. And now I'm just going to weave in these ends. And there you have the tic-tac-toe bag with all the counters for you to have a game of tic-tac-toe wherever you are. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please, 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 can you leave a thumbs up? It's free and it really helps out my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and you'll never miss out on free crochet tutorials like this. So this was a nice and easy one today. And if you do make this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the tag hashtag teeny crochets. And other than that, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.